Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077. So, after our little trip to the outskirts, I have returned to Night City, specifically the afterlife, because I would like to follow up on that quest that we got at the end of the last episode about that cyber deck that used to belong to Rage Bartmos, and apparently there's a person here in the afterlife who might be able to take a look at it and do something with it, I suppose. So, let's see if we can find them. Okay, he will just let me in, no further questions asked. And I guess I will just follow my mini-map here. Okay. And that's gotta be our person. Um, what's it like working with Rogue? Sure, let's start with a bit of small talk here. What's it like? Working for Rogue. It's fine. <laughs> That's it? Fine? You want info on Rogue? Ask her yourself. I'm sure she'll be ever so obliged. Well, probably not. Found Bartmoth's deck. Can you teach me something? Hmm, interesting. Can you? Or will you? <laughs> Listen. From one netrunner to another. Got any pro tips you could spare? <laughs> Don't see why not. <laughs> if you're cool with Rogue, you're cool with me. Well, cool enough, I, I can hope. sell you a few tricks of the trade from the Bartmoss era. Rage Bartmoss. THE Bartmoss. Tell me you're not fucking with me. Yeah, funny that Before you dropping off the him. grid, he unleashed a slew of ice-breaking grams and protos in the darkest corners of the net. Heard how paranoid he was. <laughs> any idea what happened to him? Pfft, who knows. But I was able to dig up a few classic Bartmoss relics. Here, let me show you. I mean, I do kind of know what happened to him, but not exactly how it happened. So, what exactly are you trying to teach me? Oh, he's just going to show me his inventory. Um, well, let me have a look. Dated BD wreath. Well, it appears that this has some actual benefits. 10% quick hack upload time reduction. This one as well. And then we have components. They're pretty expensive. How many components will you give me for that amount of money? Just one? That doesn't seem to be worth it. Clearly, it's got to be like a stack of components, right? Um, and he has a bunch of quick hacks. I mean, so far, I haven't really bought any quick hacks. All the ones that I'm using are stuff that I crafted myself or just found. So I probably don't have to buy anything. But I may want to try one of these. Um... My only concern is that it's going to screw up my hair. <laughs> I mean, maybe this one doesn't because it's probably just like glasses, right? So I'm going to buy this one. Sure, why not? Okay, well, thank you for that. But now let's talk about uh, the thing that I actually came here for. I found Bartmoss's deck. Hey, Nix. Listen, found something. Bartmoss's deck. Mm-hmm. What else you find? <laughs> Alan Turin's tapes? Nope, it's Bartmoss's deck. Here, have a look at it. Being serious. Have a look-see. Ooh, running shit. <laughs> Goddamn, V. Where'd you ferret this out of? Well, um, I found it in a fridge, along with Bartmoss's corpse. Found it outside town, in a fridge, next to its former owner's rotting corpse. <laughs> Bart Moss all the way. Netwatch made him a wanted man when looking in Shanghai, Lahore, Santiago de Chile, while that dog alighted to the net. Wonder how long he'd have kept buzzing those wires if the power hadn't gone out. Think you can pull anything off it? Hmm. Tech's coming apart. Humidity damaged. 
Encryption on the mem cube. Gotta be near divine. Spare me the two-step, yes or no? I can try. Failure, though, is a distinct possibility. Then all data will be lost. Done and gone. Well, you think it might be infected? I think there could be some no longer known vectors on the disk? A, a data crash-like thing, or rabbits? Because if so... Then we pop open a bottle of malignant gin. Painfully aware of the risk I am. But speaking straight, curiosity's consuming me. You feel it too? Yeah, I gotta admit I'm kinda curious myself, so sure, let's do it. No risk, no reward. <laughs> Get to it. Okay. Put the deck on the counter, just ginger-like. And I mean, he's the one taking all the risk as far as I can tell. Uh, place a deck on Nix's desk. Okay, All yours. Go. All yours? Oh, V. V. Got no sense of reverence. <laughs> Expect if you found the goddamn Holy Grail, you'd fill it with caramel corn and pop turds. Now, let's get this show underway. Hmm. Hmm. Most data's corrupt, but not all. Password. A dick attack, maybe. <laughs> Nothing doing. And what about injecting a command? Ha! <laughs> We're golden. One more hurdle. But it ought to be as easy as pie. My, my. Of all people, Bart Ma should have done better. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Cat shit, rat shit. Ideas, V. Fast and stat. Couple of minutes and his skull sponge will be well done, stick. Find okay. a way to save what do we got Nix. here? Saw what we got. A brain broiler. You absolutely sure you want to jack in? Well, I mean, I gotta help this guy, so I guess I'll jack in if that's going to do something. Okay, um... I can gain access to encrypted data. I hope that's going to help him anyway. I'm not sure if that's what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, but let's make sure to get this right on the first attempt. 1C BD E9 E9. Okay, it's easy enough. Alright, here we go. Gotcha. Okay, apparently oh. he's still fine. Fuck a muffin. <laughs> you breathing? Apparently. What? Feels like I got a skull full of hot embers. Just. <laughs> what the hell happened? You started convulsing, lights went out, outlets started spitting sparks. So, I sat down and finished for you. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Mean to say, you reached Bob Ma's deck? Lowly you? It wasn't really that difficult, to be honest. Damn straight. I'm the best net runner in town, after all. Out of kid. But maybe someday. <laughs> all right. Let's see just what you pulled from this artifact. Logs, mail, chat history of sorts. Mm. Potentially interesting, but nothing explosive. Oh, well, that's a pity. Uh, shame, kinda. Well, I guess I can delve some more, see if I can't find something interesting in there. Listen. My services usually command a tidy sum, <laughs> but this time, well, seems you rendered me a service. Take I this. Say so. Handful of demons live on that shard. Wasn't Bart Moss who coded them, but they should be useful nonetheless. Thanks, Nix. You gonna get it together? Be all right? Or you need help? No, no. Be just fine. <laughs> Couple of painkillers washed down with whiskey. And I'll be a new man. Alright, if you say so. And that apparently finishes the task. So we didn't really get any useful information from it. But I think he gave me some stuff. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what he gave me. Also, what is going on here? Do I really want to know? And since I'm here, let me have a look at... Oh, it's just for the chair. I thought maybe you had some messages that I could read, but can't actually do anything here. Okay, whatever. 
So, um, I guess that's all I gotta do here at the moment. I wonder if Rogue is still Leave around. And for again, the yep, bitch. She is. Oh, and I can ask her a few things. things. No Got any jobs for me? Can I ask you a personal bump. question? Oui. Yeah, I don't know. Do you have yeah, any I'm jobs sure. for me? She seems a little oh, bit distracted at the out. moment, though. Might but I'm going to ask it. I was wondering... Again. Wouldn't now, happen to have any gigs for me. Make sure we don't nope. Land in a pool of Nothing. Shit. Really? Not for you. Very straightforward. Well, I do appreciate the honesty. Thanks. Appreciate your honesty. Only thing you'll get here for free. See the regulars? They've got dozens of jobs behind them. They trust each other. Now put yourself in my shoes. How do you think it'll look when they find out I'm putting a crew together with you in it? Do you you had one job with Dex and fucked it up spectacularly. Well, you know that's not true. Who cares? This isn't about skill, V. Only thing that matters is reputation. Why do you think you work alone? Well, because Look, Vicky the, died. Just do what you do best, all yeah. right? But I mean, I finished a bunch of smaller jobs quite successfully. I have a few fixers who can probably vouch for me. But yeah, the one big job I kind of screwed up. So um, harsh, but true. Anyway, can I ask you a personal question? Ask you a personal question? Sure, but ask at your own <laughs> risk. You knew Johnny Silverhand, what was he like? How is it being the boss of the afterlife? Forget I said anything. Sure, tell me more about Johnny. Used to know Johnny Silverhand. What was he like? Uh, Johnny? <laughs> that caught her off guard Where a little bit. Where did that bit. come from? Seemed to be as many rumors about him as there were 50 years ago. And not all of them gelled together. No, you two were close. I asked. Huh. What was Johnny like? Strong. <laughs> Arrogant. Uncompromising. <laughs> He'd burn down half the city just to prove he was right. And burn the other half just for fun. He was like a kid with a box of matches and a can of chew, too. Tough luck. You don't know the half of it. Anyway, doesn't matter. I won't speak ill of the dead. <laughs> well, he's still kind of alive. But hang on a second, um, there was another question I could ask. Ask you a personal question? Sure, but ask at your own risk. So, how is it being the boss of the afterlife? How is it? Being the boss of the afterlife? What is this? Am I on News 54 Entertainment? <laughs> anyway, I don't like that label, boss. Makes it sound like I've got an army of greasy henchmen. Are you, you saying you don't? <laughs> Hmm, good question. I'd have to think about that one. You know what? I'll add it to my list of things to do, right at the very bottom. All right, uh, I guess I'll come back later and see if you um, came up with an answer. But okay, um, I guess that's all I can uh, do here at the moment. But I think Nick just sent me another message. Hey, got a job for you. Swing by when you have a sec. And I also got like... A new quest. Oh, that's basically the one that he wants to talk about. Okay, um, since I'm still here, I may as well go back to him, right? See what this is all about. V, baby, listen. Got a yarn for you. Quick biz, that is. You okay. interested? Um, yep, sure. Tell me about it. All right, lay it on me. I was cruising the net, you feel? And I spotted an interesting classified. Wait, let me guess. Performance enhancers? <laughs> he used Mr. Stud cheap. <laughs> now, I'm a serious man, V. No and Serious matters are what, if not all, that concern me. Somebody's selling a book of spells. Book edition of dating spells. from before the first net crash. Now, you know a thing or two about that, don't you? Like, how much that soft could run you. And earn you. Want me to clep it for you, don't you? Uh, uh No clepping required. <laughs> just buy the damn thing. Reimburse you twofold. Okay. You just want me to buy something? 
That sounds like something you could do yourself. Sending me out to do your shopping? Want a case of Nicola with that? <laughs> Algae chips? Think on it, V. A treasure, and someone's willing to part with it. Now who does that? The hard up, V. And Desperado's got this unsavory side. They're unpredictable. One word off their mood, and they reach for their heat. That's why I need you to meet the seller. You got heat at the ready. So you think this might uh, go south ways? Okay, sure, we'll do. Okay, we'll do. That's my girl. <laughs> Zipping you the deets on the cellar, and luck be with you all the way. Okay, um, let me have a look at that. Nix has shared a contact with you. R3NO. Okay, well, thank you. So I'm guessing that this book of spells is not like a literal book. It's some kind of technology or something or software. Um, let me mark this as active. A job from Nix should be interesting. Guys got a rep for being an expert on antique tech pre-crash hardware. Dex, Mac disk, yada yada yada. Some people tell you it's as all as useful as a typewriter, a record player, a pile of dried ketchup, but me, I wouldn't be so sure about it. Yeah, I mean, sure, Johnny would say that. <laughs> because uh, he's about as obsolete as... Hey, you looking for the book? Uh, yes. Sounds about right. Price non-negotiable. You'll need to pay in full on pickup. Clear enough. Agreed. Prem, I flicked you the address. Come by your lonesome. Okay, um, well, there we go. We got the coordinates. Um, let me have a look at that. Okay, she's sending me the coordinates. Come alone, I have eyes everywhere. No prop, don't try to play me for your own good. Yeah, um, let's just go along with this. And that's it. So, um, just picking up some quote unquote shopping shouldn't take too long, right? So, why not just continue with this right away? First of all, gotta get out of here. Now, um, it's over here. Okay, there's like a fast travel spot nearby, so we're just going to use the fast travel. Let's select the destination over here. And here we are. So let's find that location. Um, Arguing with you is pointless. You started here. it. Not sure what this is all about. Um, okay, apparently up here somewhere. Talk to R3NO. Right, here she is. Mom sent you. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, she's talking to me. Um, yep, I'm here for the spell book. Spell book, you got it? I do indeed. Tucked away somewhere safe. You want coordinates? I need to see my money. Is this your attempt at a con? No deal, keep it. Okay. It's not even that expensive, and I mean, it's not really my money, right? It's Nix's money, so I'm just going to pay it. Damn, this stinks to high hell. But okay, take you at your word. <laughs> you won't regret it. Better not. Or you will. Bigly. Giving you my word on that. Just flick to the coordinates. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Okay, she gave me some coordinates anyway. I see you. R3NO is sending you coordinates. Always a pleasure doing biz with you. You could have just told me that face to face. I'm still standing here. Okay, so it's apparently not that far away. So may as well pick this up right now. Oh. 
Um, can I just jump over here? And apparently uh, this is it. A suitcase, okay. And inside... Oh, fuck! <laughs> A Zeta Tech XPR. <laughs> Gotta be like 50 years old. Least that. Had one, you know. Top of the line <laughs> back in the day. It's kind of cute. It's kind of like a little tablet. <laughs> like an iPad or something. <laughs> I will take the book of spells. <laughs> Alright. Open your shards menu and decrypt the book of spells. Huh. Well, I mean, if you offer it to me like that, um, I feel kind of obliged to <laughs> take you up on it. I'm not sure if Nix has a problem with that. He didn't specifically tell me not to do it, right? So, I'm sure it's going to be fine. Okay, let's crack that security. Ooh. Well, <laughs> now, do I have to finish a specific one in order to crack this? Download the crafting spec for an advanced quick hack. Makes a copy of a demon infecting the shard. Extract quick hacks and quick hack. Um... I guess I will try to go for the most difficult one and then maybe I can get one of the others as well. So 55, 1C, FF, BD. The question is can we then continue with the uh, second one? E9, BD, 55. Okay, this should work. Um, yeah, let's start over here. 55. 1C, FF, BD, E9, BD, 55. So, that's at least two of them finished. And apparently that's good enough to actually hack this. Okay, we have some ancient messages here from 2021 to 2023. Okay, let's read them. BBS rumor mills actually churned out some truth that Zeta Tech Fort is a fucking Alcatraz. Modified pit bulls at each entry port, speed traps and seer at access points. Soon as I step foot in their net, they set flatline on my head. Nice try, Zeta, but a little artwork and killer VI combo meal did away with that. That's so many nerd speak, I have no idea what's going on here. I mean, he's trying to hack something and... It's difficult, okay, I get it. <laughs> but for real, it wasn't easy. My trusty Elisla was smoking like a flare gun by the end of it. That's the cyberdeck we found, right? But I got the job done. Don't believe me? Check it yourself. I left a little note at the top of Zeta's fortress where their logo used to be. Spider Murphy was here. XD. That was one of Johnny's um, colleagues that blew up the tower, right? Spider Murphy. Oh fuck, he actually did it. Bartmos unleashed data crash, whole nets fa falling apart before my very eyes. Data fusing together, fortresses melting like ice cream, ones and zeros flooding the information highway. Global stock markets losing its shit. Dow Jones dropped by hundreds in a single hour. Kang Tao CEO committed suicide, Netwatch is running around like a headless chicken. Holy fuck, say goodbye to the old order, death to cops, whoops. <laughs> okay, so this spellbook did not belong to Bartwas, but to this spider Murphy um, person. Bartmos was wrong, everyone was wrong. The net was a mirror held up to our thoughts and dreams, our lives. Bartmos took it and shattered it into pieces, thinking that that would be enough. But as it happens, you can still see your reflection in every shattered piece of glass. Now instead of one mirror, we have thousands of them. Every corp government gang now has their own net, that they rule with an iron fist with no regulation, no accountability. Surveillance hasn't disappeared. In the hands of those who govern us, it's only gotten worse. They're like modern-day fates with optic cables of our lives wrapped around their chrome fingers, ready to be cut at a moment's notice. They hear our frustrations, they look upon our futile rebellion and they laugh. They laugh so hard the whole world trembles at its very core. <laughs> okay, so it didn't work out 
the way he planned it. Again, nothing really too um, enlightening, but I guess a nice piece of history, right? So either way, um, we will return to Nyx and tell him about what we found here. And yeah, I gotta travel back to the afterlife. And I hope this is uh, what you've been looking for. <laughs> Let me through! <laughs> Alright, I'm back so, already. You got the book? I got the book. You got my Eddies? As I says, V, I am a serious <laughs> man. Amount is agreed. I never All doubted yours. you. Um, tablets worth heaps more. You know it, I know it. Okay, maybe I can bargain for more. Uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. A tablet's worth heaps more. I know that and you know that. Maybe it is. But <laughs> I offered you a price and you accepted it. Well... Any contract can be declared null and void when a party thereto is proven to have acted in bad faith. Alright. Have it your way. You are hereby awarded a bonus. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> Later. V. Word of advice. Don't pull shit like that with me. <laughs> Just don't. Okay, so I got a bonus, but um, he didn't really like the fact that I was trying to get more money out of this. Anyway, I will take this stuff over here. Blaming Bartmos by Buckbear. I mean, this might be relevant to the current situation, although I'm not entirely sure if I have read this already. I have read at least one pad about Bartmos. When I imagine what the net was like before Bartmos, I see thousands of potential threats, one thousands of opportunities. Cause the whole system was unstable, copper runners pulling one way, post war rogue AIs pulling the other, financial markets tanked. Virus mutations spiraled in uncontrollable ways and runners got cooked in their living rooms every now and then. Bartmos saw the net as a grenade waiting for the pin to get pulled and that's exactly what he did. Fuck it, right? Let the world burn. Bartmos fucked the system but fucked all of us right along with it. Just look at it now, corpse are on top, of, on top as usual. The black wall, which was supposed to protect us after the net's crash, is just another control tool in Netwatch's arsenal. Before Bartmos, the net was an untamed jungle. If you could navigate it, you had a chance to survive. You were free. After Bartmos, the net's like an airport security check. Every step you take in Netwatch is checking your papers and performing a thorough cavity search. Oh, but all for your own good, of course. Okay, I mean, this does give some more background and information about what happened um, with Bartmos and the first net. So, a bit of interesting history in this episode. And um, we still have some time in this episode. So, let me leave the afterlife and then we will try to find something to do for the remaining, uh, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes. So, um, I have pretty much cleaned out most of the quests in this area. I mean, we still have the smaller gigs here, but uh, maybe I should do some for some of the other fixes as well. <laughs> um, sure, why not take a look at the one over here? Um, there is some fast travel spot nearby. So I guess I'll go here and then just, I don't know, probably just go on foot. Doesn't really warrant taking a bike for that little bit of distance. All right. And 
Off we go. All right, here's our call. V, you are to rescue Lauren Costigan, wife of Bradley Costigan, my client. She is being held captive by the Tiger Claws. If you wish to know more, read the attachment. All right. That doesn't sound too difficult, but let's have a look. Geek type SOS Merc needed objective rescue Lauren Costigan from the Tiger Claws location building by Raymond Street. Details. Old sins cast long shadows and Bradley Costigan is guilty of many. As a result, he not only found himself in prison, but also invited trouble into the life of his wife, Lauren Costigan. It's your task to help her. When Bradley loaded a spot behind bars, he was contacted by old acquaintances in the Tiger Claws. Shift some snitches, they said. He said no. Tigers don't like that word. They kidnapped his wife and sent stills as proof. No great surprise, Bradley began to cooperate, but he also remembered me. He's promised a payment and I believe he's desperate enough to be good for it. My people have already tracked where the stills were taken once you have the coordinates set to work immediately. Okay. So, um... Let's look around a bit. I can already see some enemies, so... Let's do some reconnaissance first by tagging all of these enemies. Um, as many as I can, anyway. Also, hang on a second. Is that a camera? It is a camera, so... That shall help me in my attempt to take more enemies. Also, I think I just saw one standing on the roof, so... Gotta make sure that I got him tagged. We got a bunch of them in the courtyard here. Um, can't see any here. This is like the other side of the courtyard. Okay, yep, yeah, this is where I am. And this is inside the building. Okay, uh, can't see our target at the moment though. So she must be somewhere else. Okay, but I think I have a decent idea of what I'm dealing with now, so let's leave and yeah, let's make sure we got the one on the roof as well. Um, now, let's see. I need to find like a better way inside. <laughs> Speaking of which, there seems to be a, a structural failure in your defenses. And that's another camera. Yeah, there's gotta be another one on the other side of the building and one on the inside. So, we got a door here. Um, maybe I want to take care of the guard on the roof first. <laughs> and I guess I will try to stay undetected for now, simply because if I'm here to rescue a hostage, you probably don't want to cause too much, um, you know, noise. Or they will maybe harm the hostage, right? <laughs> so. Oh man, he's never giving up now. Let's be careful. As long as he nails Tetsuo, we're good. Can't imagine the thing I'd do if someone were keeping my wife. <laughs> so don't. Jesus. Of course, if I want to get her out of here, it's probably going to be useful. Oh, hang on, on a second. You have received a transfer from Nix. Thanks again. Okay. Just another thanks. But. Nothing else. <laughs> um, 
What I was about to say is that if I want to get the wife out of here, I probably will have to take care of all the um, guards so she can leave unharmed. So I will have to take out every single one of them just to be on the safe side. Um, okay, I don't know. Let's just pick up someone who is isolated. Like, for example, the guy over here. Oh, he's coming my way now. So. There we go. Just one of them down. And the rest is going to be a little bit more difficult. They will at the very least find the bodies, I'm sure, because it's going to be uh, hard to remove the bodies. But I will at least try to take them down unnoticed. Now, let's see. I saw a door over here. Can I open the door? Oh, I can force it open. That's good to know. And I seem to be safe here. Got any interesting messages? Refuses to eat. From Shun Ikuta to Tatsuya Yamashita. Find a ripper with feeding equipment. The bitch refuses to eat and I'm tired of risking more bite attacks. Let's shove a nutrient tube down her throat and be done with it. Okay, so they're talking about the hostage. And I think this is just um, spam. List of our most popular hobbies. Sorts. <laughs> Weebo Naginata. With this in your home arsenal, no one could or would touch you with a 10 feet pole. Can't Lord Katana. By this and your mother won't dare kick you out of the house. TC Monokatana for aspiring tigers who are better suited as house cats. Spud Slayer Tanto. Those potatoes won't peel themselves, samurai. <laughs> so they're just like swords for decoration that you can hang on your wall and pretend to be like a dangerous samurai. Um, is this guy sitting like in the next room? Oh yeah, he is. Okay. Um, Let's see if I can get a lock on him. I can. There we go. Oh, hang on a second. There's some valuable stuff here and another computer. Oh, this is the one for the local network. Um, yeah, sure. Let's switch it all off. Um, there is like... Hang on a second, he has like a message. Oh, it's from Jotaro. <laughs> hey, you ever make any dildos that look like blades? Not a sharp or anything, but I want one shaped like a katana? Send you a dick still and katana still for ref or what I want comboed. Fight unavailable. I don't really want to know more about that, to be honest. <laughs> At least he's asking for one that isn't sharp. <laughs> so... I guess I should be thankful for small graces here. Um, yeah, I feel at some point I will have to start fighting people because they are close together, so it's kind of hard to take them down unnoticed. Um, you know what, I'm just going to hand out overheats now and once I get traced, I get traced, doesn't really matter. <laughs> Right. They are done. What about you over here? And here we go. Pretty sure we have more on the outside. I don't have time, Chris. Yep, there's one over here. And oh, there's another one. Oh, that's the one that I just took down. 
so is that all of them? No, there's gotta be at least one more. Oh, it's a camera. I thought I turned off all the cameras. Well, this one's still off. But apparently the cameras went on again. Alright, but it looks like we're good for now. So let's just go ahead and try to find our hostage. Got a door here? Oh, um, <laughs> well... <laughs> Don't even have to waste bullets on you. Um... Okay, we have more people down here. And there we go. And I see someone over here. Oh, and I just got an access card that is good. Might need it for something. Alright. Apparently... That's... All the enemies in here. Huh. Where did this guy come from? I only shot one person. Oh, did he fall down here? He probably fell down here. Um, okay, now let's look around. And there's our hostage. Um, no, I'm getting you out of here. I'm getting you out of here. What? Your husband hired me. I'll make sure you're safe. Stupid, fucking <laughs> worthless piece of shit! What's wrong? Um, yeah, we gotta go. Come on now, we need to go. I mean, I think we're probably safe because I already disabled all the enemies, but still. Head down. Where are you running to? Oh, she's just running over here. No, 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 that's not where we need to go. We need to go up here. She's going to follow me. Oh, we have like an access point here. Uh, may as well hack this while I'm at it. Uh, 7A. 7A. 55. 55. 7A. Alright. Okay, and she's following me now. Don't worry. Um, oh well, there might still be at least one enemy around somewhere. Um, there's more loot in this place, but I will just take care of that later. Let me make sure that the way out of here is safe. we go. Don't worry. I got you. <gasps> now we just have to get out of here. Can we just get through the main gate? Okay, yes we can. Alright. Here we go. All over now. You better Delta. Let's talk. Um, yeah. Is there someone you can ask for help? Is there someone who can help you? Um, my mom? Tell her to lay low somewhere. They'll be looking for your family, friends. You understand? Y yeah. Oh, wh what about Brad? Just focus on yourself right now. And yeah, there's a car waiting for you. Hey, see that car? It'll take you someplace safe. Th thank you. <laughs> Look out for yourself. All right, um... I hope you will be safe. Uh, let me have a look at that message. Um, oh, it's from Wakako, both of it. Lauren is secure. I am informing Bradley now. Thank you for your help. Contract closed. Remember, we, it's unwise to engage in idle time. I am sometimes known to be rather impatient. The qu requested transport is in position. Okay, so this is just about the car. 
So, um, looks like we're done with this. I will head back inside here to pick up the loot that I uh, missed. But um, I think we have enough for today, so let's call it a day here. As always, thank you for watching and see you again next time.